day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Fly, man. Bless. I love y'all. You too. Love you too, man. Uh, it's good to see you, Elvis. It's, it's good to, to be here. To be honest with you, but it's, it's, it's exceedingly uh, good to see you looking good and healthy. Yeah, it's Thank good God. to be seen, bro. <laughs> Thank God for you. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, man, I could have healed twice as fast as you could have got a bowl of gumbo over there, right? I'm just I saying. Know, I, know. <laughs> I, I think you put more faith. In, in, in man. <laughs> 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 well, I'll try something else later. <laughs> I, went, I went to my business house one time. He went over the door and he didn't tell me he was in quarantine anyway, but he just stood in the middle of the room and, and he said, I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm all right, right? I bet you if I had some gumbo, he would open that door. He'd open the oh, door. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody know. I, I at least let you live in the chair, you know, French. <laughs> Yeah, Funny right I, I didn't want to make nobody else. <clears throat> well, thank God, thank God you, you uh... Well, I just want to say God cured us for me too. Yeah. You need to say that while we had it. Yep. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Amen. Jewish. All right, but you take care of your dog on Facebook, so God bless you. <laughs> God bless you too. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Take on care. the day that he was, the night that he was betrayed, he took bread, he broke it. He blessed it and gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat all of it. This is my body, which shall be broken for you. So he blessed it, he, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples and they ate. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave thanks and praise. Blessed it, gave it to his disciples and said, take drink, all of you. But this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It shall be shared for you and for all men, so that sins may be forgiven. Whenever you do this, do it in remembrance of me. And so he took the cup and he drank it. And in keeping with my Catholic brothers, and so we proclaim the mystery of faith. Yes, Christ sir. has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Amen, amen. Hey, amen, man. what we learned today from Brother Bell, stay on the rock. Stay hey, on the rock. If you fall off the rock, get back on it. And I, I, like, I think I like it. What vision in my mind was Christ is always there. You know how you, like you, you're off the rock? His hands. Yeah. Woo! Come on, brother. Yeah, I like that one. That's a good I like that, one. That, that's a symbol I got. I was like, hey man, I, I, come on back on the rock. I'm, I'm here. Just, reach, <laughs> just touch around, turn around. I'm, I'll pull you back on the rock. I'm you know, we're we a phase of growth. You know, you were talking about being conformed to the image of the Father of uh, Jesus. Yeah. That's really what's happening to us. Yeah. We're all being conformed to his image. Yes, sir. So we're going through the same process as he went through. Well, a lot of them, not in the same, definitely not. Right. But the process he went through, he said he learned obedience through what he suffered. Exactly. So we're, we're, we're being raised to be the sons. Of, we are the sons of God, now we're being raised to be one, and act like one. Amen. And I like when I think, one of the things I guess we got from this brother, uh, Bell, it's like today, is the, the, the understanding I could get back on the rock. Yeah. 
And I think we painted the picture as <clears throat> that that straight <laughs> is Jesus. You ain't got to look for it. It's right there. Yeah. That, I think that, I think some people, and I, I mean, I think that's, I think some people felt that, like you said, if you look at that verse, the onus was on the person to find the straight gate. Yeah. And very few will find it. Yeah. The revelation. There is, um, I'm sorry. I understand the revelation is I like I like that part. I think you like this. We 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 got we telling people look you you, you ain't gotta find it. He already he already you ready, dude? <laughs> you ready. Woo. Dude, uh, because you know the States of, the Lord took me back and I think I might share this other day it said there is a God in Israel. Woo. He gave you safe from the guttermost to the uttermost. Come on. The guttermost to the uttermost. Woo. I remember this from when I was a young guy and stepped up in the church. But it started out with there is a God in Israel. Woo. It took so many thousands of years back from America that it reset my mind. Yes. And, and, and it helped me to really get another vision of what Christianity looked like prior to being corrupted by the westernization of it. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is more like a sensei, I think. And if you think about how Eastern religions are normally propagated, it's an internal experience that has an outward expression. Right. And this is what we're going through. And this is what we're coming to in America, finally, is the understanding that we have to, the, that the kingdom of God comes not by observation, no. but it's revealed from within. Yeah. So God is actually conforming us to the image of the Lord Jesus Christ, each and every last one of us. Yes. He is a prototype of our kind. He is the method. He is the means. He is the he is the objective. Yes, sir. We finish with the process. We're gonna look like him. Woo. Hey, and, 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 and that's the whole thing. He is number one. It yes. says he's the firstborn of the dead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're heirs and joint heirs with him. So we're all being conformed, like you said earlier, with that spirit. We're being conformed to the image of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are being conformed to that image. Woo! The way. Exactly. Hey, look, I like this too. If you, if you caught what you what you were saying while you're talking, this what came to my mind is he has constantly been pointing the way. When you said that there was a, a gospel or, or a scripture where it says there's a God in Israel. Yes, sir. But what what that was telling me was saying is he's always been pointing to the way. You see what I'm saying? Yes. God in Israel. For us, the gospel is there's a Jesus Christ that is the way. Amen, man. To get to God. Amen. Hey, the Israel was one time not existing till 1948 after the AD 70. So they, 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 you can't go, you couldn't go to Israel. You see what I'm saying? You couldn't go to Israel to get to God. Amen, man. But Jesus <laughs> opened the <Yeah>. way. <laughs> yeah. So you ain't, ain't got sense to God in Israel no more, do I? Jesus said. It's right, it's right. That's legit. Woo! He is the way. He always been pointing the way. Yes. And he finally gave us, and then I guess, like the city, he said, he recognized the struggle when he said that that verse is brought us away and, and, and to destruction because yes. you will find it because that's what he, that's it. That's why I need to send a savior because y'all can't find it. Y'all, I tried, I tried. Y'all can't find it. Y'all can't come read it. That could happen. And, and that's when you know you need to say when you realize I can't find a way. Yeah. The, the level of righteousness is not something that can be comprehended in the flesh, I don't think. Nope. It has to be a spiritual experience. Yes, sir. And, and, and the word it says, it says, the Woo. cardinal mind is not subject to the things that God needs to to be for your spiritual discern. Yes, sir. So without a connect with the Father, we never understand what we're looking at anyway. Wow. So it's like we've got to get connected before we can be connected. Yeah. It, 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 it's, 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 I, I I have come to a point of exhaustion as far as questions are concerned. 
Ooh. And I come to a place where I just want to be obedient. Yes, sir. But he answered all my questions. I mean, the, I mean, the questions that, that, that I, things I pondered, he brought me to a place using derision and, and believing that I really can't comprehend all of it. And I, I saw a place with a grandmother whose love exceeded my intellect. Mm, mm. And I couldn't get there. Yeah. From where I was sitting, I could not understand how this woman could love this guy, this kid that much. But then I began to understand God's love for us. Come on, brother. It's beyond, it's beyond comprehension. Exactly. It doesn't make sense to suffer like that with somebody you don't have to suffer like that for. <laughs> it's like it's almost like again, once again, it's like. Come on, Little Rock. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I mean, I got accolades for nobody but for them. And I, I mean, I'm really beginning to love this guy. And I, and I like to, I like to say that in other schools because I know I haven't loved the Lord like I need to. But after having spent so much time with him to see the things he's going through, and even something that he allowed me to go through, yes, sir. showed me the extent that he was willing to go through in order to secure my soul. If I had never been sick, I would know it. If I had never been in pain, if I had never experienced the things that I've gone through as far as afflictions are concerned, I wouldn't understand the depth of his sacrifice. Mm -hmm. But the more I live through this, this, this experience we call life, the more I understand what he went through to kill my soul. Yes, sir. You know, people tell me, oh, he hate homosexuals, he hate these people, he hate these people. No, but God so loves the world. Come on. Come on. Hey, look the reason he did is because he loved us. It's not because he hated us or was trying to find a way to send us to hell. He's trying to find every way he possibly could to keep us out. Come on, that's what the devil wants to do. Yeah, he wants to keep us. God, the Father, is trying to keep us out of hell. Yeah. <clears throat> and he's going to integrate to make sure to, to make that happen. He does. And, and, <laughs> and I think that's why Rome is in condemnation because the devil constantly try to put us in condemnation. You know what I mean? Constantly yeah. trying to sit there and say, you disqualified. And, yep. you know, and one of the things I was trying to do with the brother in the conversation was, you know, well, I kept saying, you can't, you can't stay in if you keep sinning. My problem is, who determines when that timeline runs out? And if we let, if we let that time, if we determine, we're going to get off the rock. You see, that's the problem I'm saying, brother uh, Elder John. The devil wants us to make that condemnation and get off the rock. Yeah. Or to make that condemnation to stay on the rock. Hey, yes. I need to stay on the rock. Yes. Because I... if I condemn myself, that's what the devil wants. He wants you to jump off the rock. He wants you to do it. Well, that's not why you never want the scripture. When he said he told Jesus to jump off the cliff. Yeah, he did. Woo! He said, he said, you get an angel's charge, you bet you at least that's what he gets down. Ah. Uh, oh, it. Lord. You the one, you the one, jump off the, jump off the temple. He told him to jump off. Yeah. I, I, th I, that was the most interesting, one of the most interesting conversations I think ever recorded. Because he was offering this man what he already had. What he himself had created. Yes. Yeah, but he you. saw the truth. He saw the truth glory of it. He saw the fallacy of it. I mean, it's like, this is a falling creation. I don't think I'm like, I want to do a little bit better this. <laughs> hey, look. And the same thing with Adam and Eve. Yeah. They, he offered them something they already had. They already had the meaning of it. And that's, that's, his, that's his whole thing. You can be like God without being like God. Man. Yeah. I, I, I thank God for it. I do because we needed this. Woo. It's a painful experience. God knows it's a painful experience. But we, once we get it, we got it. And we got to go through this again. <laughs> yes, I'm sir. I'm glad, man. I, we only have to run this one, one time, as far as I know. We might do it a couple of times in this lifetime, but I think after we get past this 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 season of our eternal development, we don't come back to this route no more. I mean, somehow or another, we gain an appreciation for not sending. Yeah. Again, appreciation for following God of our own accord. Oh uh, yes, sir. And I know that uh, that was 
You said, like, I don't know the last time I burnt my hand, but I don't go around looking for a place to burn it. <laughs> I, I would avoid it. that with all, at all costs if I can. I really have lost my privilege to see because I see the destruction. Yes, sir. I don't want to do it. I mean, I really have no desire because what you gain from it is not what you have to pay. Yes, sir. And I believe that that's the purpose of this life. I believe this life is to let you know what sin is like mm. without it destroying you for eternity. Come on. Yeah. That's and it. I got, I got that. I don't want to do that. I really don't want, I don't have no taste for it no more, man. My taste is just gone. But, you know, and that's why I say, that's why I want, I think, if somebody heard this, and the fact is, if you is sin, the worst you can do is to run away from Jesus Christ. Yeah, man, because it just gets worse. That's the worst decision That's you can do. That's the worst thing you can do. Just yep. because you sin it, you need yep. to stay in Christ, not out of Christ. Yeah. And that's what the devil, that's the deception the devil gives. But, you know, yeah. when you fall, you run away from him, Christ. Same thing, oh, look, they're doing the same thing Adam and Eve did. Yeah, exactly. They ran, yeah. ooh, elder. They ran from the presence of God. They ran from the presence of God. They ran from the solution. They ran Out from the presence to the extent of, 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 of uh, the problem itself. They ran away from the solution to the problem. And that's they what the away. problem wants us to do is sit there and say, well, you just can't keep on sinning. Separate well, yourself from God. Separate yourself from God. Hide right out. Like, like, like your answer will be in God. I mean, uh, out of God, opposed to Ain't him. They ain't gonna happen. I got a sin issue. I don't run from him. I stay with him. And then the see the church is the one. Some ministries, anyway. That's their that's their way of operating. Uh, kick you out. Because we don't know God's intent, and it's it is pretty explicit. So that's why I say for me, a lot of the perversions that we see happening with the gospel, a lot of the distortions of a Western origin. Yeah. Because at the time, the cultures that were propagating the gospel were in a mindset of conforming their environment to fit what they perceived to be the will of God or the pattern of God, kingdom, which it wasn't. Um, the, the, the kingdom was actually brought into to being through servitude, through distribution of power from the bottom up. But that's not how they 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 did it. Um, and so we look at a lot of distortions as far as the gospel, the kingdom is concerned in the United States of America. That's why I, right now I have grown a little bit weary of the saying that the United States of America is a Christian nation because the construct of it is nowhere near Christian. But, but there were people who started this nation who sought to serve God and their influence is felt. And I think on a personal note, that is the high side of the United States of America. The United States of America's greatest contribution to human history is her diligence toward following the principles of the kingdom. Yes, sir. Aside from that, she's just as worthless as any other nation that's out there, but but there have been, there has been an element of people within this nation who have sought to follow the ones who live in God. Mm -hmm. And I think the more we do that, the more Bible we're going to be seeing in his sight, the more useful. Um, but of course, we're going to go the way of all flesh eventually nation is going to be destroyed but uh um, over to that point i think we should strengthen ourselves in christ as much as possible yes sir yeah yeah, yeah. That, that's that's what i'm looking at right now uh the lord used these latter years my part latter years to return people in the united states of america to him because i think we can survive a little longer but as we see in, in the mantle that's passed from one nation to another, one people to another, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. 
And I look at the work of this man King, and sometimes I feel remorse. Yeah. Because I don't think he knew what we looked like either. Yeah. He saw us under the under the the shroud of slavery, mm -hmm. of people unable to exercise their innate nature. Yeah. And we are proving ourselves, and I know that I'm using the we term again, but many of us have proven ourselves to be immoral, decadent, just lascivious, rebellious, and when they say that is off the chain, yeah, <laughs> just maybe as though we're off the chain. And I cannot blame my white brothers for that anymore. Well, the only problem is, and the only problem just to, to make sure the balance of what you said is that the majority of us have not, just the few you're talking about. There, there, there.